the Legion's 10 regiments, three are permanently based outside of France. One detachment is deployed in Mayotte. The 3rd Infantry is based in French Guiana. And the 13th Half Brigade has been stationed in Djibouti since 1982. The regiment consists of 800 men. Djibouti borders Eritrea, Ethiopia and Somalia and is situated on Africa's Horn by the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden, with the Arabian Peninsula on the other side. Previously under French rule, it gained its independence in 1977. In Djibouti, the exercises are designed as intense physical and mental challenges, and severe climate deployed to any trouble spots in the Middle East or Central Africa. In Djibouti, the Legion has its toughest combat training center, CCAP, which offers perhaps the harshest military training that exists. The instructors and their methods are renowned and feared throughout the world. You know, this is MK Ultra. Uh, they say the French Foreign Legion was here since 1982. Uh, I have been there since the French Foreign Legion in this location here, delivered to this location. Uh, and in 1982, I was like 11 years old, and I'm going to say to you one thing. I was here before the French Foreign Legion was. I was here, the French Foreign Legion got here about two years earlier. The operation of French Foreign Legion started here about two years earlier. I was coming to this place with the legionaries literally about two years Legioners were involved in operations in area already like two years earlier, so that means since 1980. 1980, I was barely about like, I don't know, eight, nine years old. No, the stuff that I am saying to you is the French president's French foreign legion staff, legioners, and French military generals. At the time, they will confirm to you. Hey, I don't have a time to go over the names right now to look who was at the time in charge and this and that, but I can assure you it's a piece of cake. Uh, this goes, let me explain to you something. To the time before Josip Brostito died, Josip Brostito. I think he used French Foreign Legion to punish me. I'm not sure. I'm not completely, completely sure about it. But when I was a child, definitely in 1980, I'm going to explain to you how it started for me in Djibouti when I was eight years old child during MK Ultra. Djibouti's hot climate and severe conditions. Legion. By the way, what you see here, this kind of a stuff, this, you hear the sound, clink, 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 like rings. This was the last thing that came on the surface. Where you, what, Slovenian police officers and such, they pop up over there. Uh, when they hear this rings, clink, 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 and this and that. Um, the rings, I'm talking about the rings, that you hear this thing, ring, 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 like, you know, rings, sound. Um, yeah, this, this barely popped up probably sometimes when I was like, I was probably already like, probably 16 years old or something like that. My terms, in terms of MK Ultra, it's like fucking old man. This here was one of the first things, this thing here. What is this thing here? This is like a pole, you know, it's a pole. 
that it would jump on and then it would just slide down. Um, I'm not sure whether they did allow me to just go and throw myself. Is this is the way I was drugged up and like a monkey basically I would go and I would just throw myself in the pool grab one and just slide myself down uh, I was asking them to not use the rope to allow me to prove myself but they did not allow that it was a problems uh, the biggest problems started to happening for me when the Slovenian police popped up on the picture that's basically the older I got the less I was allowed um this here this pole that you see right there this stuff here this was one of the first things they had this goes all the way back to i don't know when they started this polygon and this polygon yeah well i need to, to think over this a little bit you know um well this kind of primitive stuff that you see right there, this polygon, like the one that you see right there. Because there were certain steps. They didn't have all of them. Um, you know, I, I, I am just going to cast my 14 years of age. No, that, that goes to about 1985. Oh, shit, no. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to tell you, 1983, and just to remember what I told you. And go ahead to Djibouti and see. Oh, I see this sign behind. No, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. As from all parts of the service trained for conflicts in extreme desert situations, in combat, you hear this? There is no room for failure. And the exercises are designed as intense physical and mental challenges. This is the stuff I was talking about. Not this one, no. Yeah, I mean, they would not allow me to do this stuff. It angered me tremendously. This stuff was um, developed like... Um... um Um, this was not the first thing that was developed, is what I'm trying to say. I am thinking about this one. Now, this is a totally different issue from the one that I demonstrated you, but probably this goes to about the same time as the other one. Um, it's just that they, 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 uh, they probably wouldn't allow me to... Uh, yeah, I, I I would say 1983. Uh, wait a minute, you said 1982 they started? Okay, 1983, does it make sense? Uh, let me think about this stuff here a little bit. Well, yeah, I mean, they started with this stuff in six months after they got there officially in 1982. So that's 1983, right? We said, okay, let's see this here. Il faut s'accrocher avec les bras, pousser avec les jambes, et puis, et puis on arrive en haut. Actually, I'm gonna say something to you about this shit. The more that I'm thinking about, the more I'm thinking about something else, man. This not uh, 1983, sorry. Uh, this one definitely not 1983. The first was the one up bow, and then it was this one here. I go with this one here in 1980. Well, I go 1985, like this. Um, if I would say 1986, it's not very nice of me, but 1985, 1986. 
the worst thing you have not seen it. Allez, laisse toi. No. Allez, repose-toi. I am doing the video because of that stuff, because I would demand apology from the French Foreign Legion for the stuff. You see, French Foreign Legion have accommodated certain people uh, that they should not do the stuff like that. You know, they accommodated... Uh, but all the stuff that I am saying to you is the same thing like a French general is going to tell you that around the operation, the people that were in charge for the operation in the area. I am, I am giving you the first hand stuff I am saying to you. Uh, the war in that area, I, they brought me over there. This is the case, MK Ultra case. This is the first hand information. This is the way it was. The French officials disputed the information. During MK Ultra, it was, and the police did. It was the French general that was in charge for these things that explained to them about the stuff. That basically he confirmed stuff. Uh, I did not know what the fuck he was talking about during MK Ultra, what exactly he was referring to. I knew him, I recall the, uh, the locations, but. Was I aware where the fuck I was? What the fuck I was doing? Well, for the French, I did. I did go uh, in operation for the French. It was for the French. And so um, the British introduced me to the French. British introduced me to the French. That is for the friends and so on and so forth. You know. So... Um, I, this thing right there, it's pathetic. Uh, I'm talking about the man that is on that picture. This, this is, uh, unfortunately, he doesn't fit on my picture. Okay. All the training is watched over by one man, the legendary adjutant chef, Marignac. Tes pieds, écoute, écoute-moi là. Tes pieds, comme t'as du mal, t'as la hache complet, d'accord Voilà, à l'intérieur. Tu les bloques à l'intérieur. Oh, c'est bon, allez, quand c'est bon, allez. Descends. Allez, laisse-toi aller. C'est bon. This was like the last act. This here, this climbing, this kind of climbing and stuff like this. They had a problem with it because it's it 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 requires the um how can I say um 1986. I'm gonna give this one here 1986. This was like the last thing that was added to the polygon was this one here. Okay, now let's continue. 1986, I said, this is when I was like 15 years old, 15, 16. Tu descends, tu descends par le, la corde, hein? et tu rejoins le groupe au saut de Tarzan. Allez, c'est parti. <laughs> This polygon was developed by the legioners. This was developed by um, the higher staff, and they were making their own uh, exercises the way it's done in, in, in the military. Accordingly, with the terrain where you are, you have to prepare yourself. The first thing you do is you prepare yourself for physically for the terrain whatever it is that you are located and that's one of the things the french foreign legion is based on french foreign legion also learned certain things that i developed and they copied and they successfully copied them and they implemented them inside of the foreign legion such as for instance how to use the language to advance your mental and physical uh, capabilities it's when you study the stuff that you can study it yourself and the power of using foreign words. You know how many legioners was involved in my case. <laughs> uh, and you bring them into the action, which is like a very powerful way to learn foreign language. In other words, practice your language through the body movements. This was things French foreign religion did not have, but it's the things that I was using that I would 
write the text on my on my notebooks and I started to learn language by myself apart from the school uh, and audio even record one and while walking and doing exercise and stuff uh, start to to think to do the stuff and that's basically the type of technology I have seen this they have also implemented this was not this guy this stuff was not used I have seen this stuff with some Belgian legioner uh, that was a trainer at the that definitely was a school where he was probably he's based in France but I have seen that movie I'm gonna take time and uh, maybe I go over these videos that he um, that he started to practice this this system which is I think incredibly powerful system dépend d'une jambe naturellement et un jour et un genou repuyé sur soi-même. Tu laisses ta jambe pas naturellement en avant et tu déroules, tu déroules, tu déroules, tu déroules, tu déroules, tu déroules, tu déroules. The first signs to the military is to prepare yourself obviously physically. If you are prepared physically, it's very hard that you will fail mentally because there are two aspects to the soldier. One is mental and the other one is physical. And if the mental fails, the physical doesn't, if you're really, really well prepared. And that gives you the chance for you to bail yourself out. So this stuff that you see right there, this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, this one here. Um, I got to think about that stuff. All right. You got to think about that stuff. This rings to me very, very much uh, into the year. Um, uh, thinking about this stuff. You see, the Slovenian police officers that came here, uh, the new police officers that they got, I have to be very, very careful with it because I must not mix up the memories with the people whom I visited. This is one of the biggest problems. Yeah, definitely was here in 1998, uh, 1988, sorry, 1988. And now I have to think about how much earlier, because these are some police officers, uh, like my neighbor here that traveled there, like Metod Yerman also who traveled, and uh, let's say um, you're talking about... Um, I don't know if those are police officers back then or they, yeah, they probably were the police officers already back then. Yeah, this was a young generation, such as uh, is his name. Uh, I'm not gonna say Kulovic, but I'm thinking about um, the guy whom I have met at uh, Brusnice uh, in this blue Volkswagen Jetta, who was there too. Yeah. Um, they, um, how can I say, I'm thinking about something else. For them, they were introduced sometimes in 1989, the people that I mentioned now. 1988, the first of them came, 1989, more of these young cops came from Novo Mesto. You understand? This is the way it is. For me, this was another world. This was the world that I didn't want to be anywhere. This was not the world, this was not a cake, because uh, it was something else that went on. That's why I said earlier that I'm going to require apology from the French Foreign Legion for this stuff. This, this, this guy is so fucking confused that he, he's got like everything upside down. He's insane actually, really. Voilà. Pourquoi? Parce que le, le parcours... This this stuff here, thanks to the information that I just right now, uh, yeah, I mean we're gonna give this one here. We're gonna give this one here, 1987. You get it? And but trust me, this is the way it is. Mechanical and mechanical expertise will save the day. 
For observers, the Christmas crib competition may seem superficial. I changed my mind. This one here is going to be 1986, and I'm going to think about how old I was in 1986, 1986, 1986, 1986, 1986. The year about two years earlier before the police came, two years earlier about then, then one, two, three, bomb. Mm, shit. I almost go to 1985, 1985, 1985, 1985, 1985, This one. Yes. Um. Yeah. Uh, still, I uh, <clears throat> you're gonna see where we're gonna get. But for Robenheimer, it gives him a chance to leave a mark. I'm helping him. To complete the Ça te plaît? There is some serious, serious, serious problem that I have with the Foreign Legion. I'm a major supporter of the French Foreign Legion, uh, but there is one thing that is just horrible fucking thing they have done. But yet, you, I said earlier that I was there two years earlier before French Foreign Legion came. Do you understand what the fuck I said? I said I was there already in... Okay, what did they say here at the beginning, 1982? Right? Permanently based outside of France. One detachment is deployed in Mayotte. The 3rd Infantry is based in French Guiana. Uh -huh. And the 13th Half Brigade has been stationed in Djibouti since 1982. Since 1982, I was there already in 19, 1980, at least. And the locals there, they had me already there when I was like 1970, probably 1978. That's before, way before the French Foreign Legion operations took place. The locals already knew where the French Foreign Legion is going to be stationed. There was a black guy, you see, two of them, that what they would do is, there was an exercise the French Foreign Legion did, and that brings me to the next question, who the fuck were these locals? You know, were these locals the locals? They were in a very good relationship with the British royals, with the Prince Andrew, with the Prince Charles. And these locals appeared to me almost like some sort of French military specialists because there was a bloody fucking exercise they would do me as a child, six years of age. Six, when I was six years of age. This was 1978, and that was a fucking exercise that they had me stand up for many fucking hours, uh, like some form of fucking punishment. Uh, I did not know what the fuck, uh, why, but they did so much bad stuff to me already here, when I, everywhere, when I was trialed already, I told you, that I was growing up so fast, you know, as a human being, you never grow up faster than when you are tortured. You don't grow up nothing faster. Life is a lot about endurance and stuff, you know? No, French Foreign Legion did not have a good influence on me. I did not learn anything from French Foreign Legion. And I did not develop myself because of French Foreign Legion. There was completely other issues behind it. The French Foreign Legion... Um, 
was introduced int I was introduced into the French Foreign Legion by British royals uh, and uh, I had no fucking idea really what went on. Uh, the only thing I know is that um, oof, I I have real difficulty thinking about that you would do such a thing to somebody like myself. I have a tremendous, tremendous difficulty dealing. This is the biggest problem that I have that that, that uh, the British royals actually would go and did something like this to somebody like myself. This is totally fucked up. This is what kills me the most. This is the stuff that actually gets to me. These people have no fucking mercy whatsoever. This is like not about mercy. Who gives a fuck about mercy? I don't, I never liked mercy in any sense. Um, the thing is that they, 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 they don't have any fucking, this, this is like fucking really, truly like George Orwell, I don't know, animal farm. I don't know how you see animal farmers, but this is like a total animal farm. This, this was like, uh, for them, it was. As a child as I was, this was crazy prices, crazy fucking insane. It it started to develop for them so quickly that it's impossible to measure, basically. Uh, but you know, the police, novamente, the police demanded for me to say to you, what is MP Ultra? The MK Ultra is response to, uh, you know, whatever somebody does to you. You understand? That's what MK Ultra, as opposed to the real world, this is where you run your destiny. This is where you, um, this novel master police officer, are animals. Uh, they have no respect for me whatsoever. They try to humiliate me. Dignify me, brainwash me on who, what I was. I enforce things that in MK Ultra too. I understand. I learned so much about it, and I draw important decisions. Unfortunately, a lot of very, very wrong decisions. When you work, you know what the MK Ultra is. MK Ultra is the worst slavery in the world. I say so because humans are not animals. Any human that is subjected to MK Ultra is completely aware of it. It is subjected to MK Ultra. Okay, there are people different, all kinds of people with mental issues with the fear. But MK Ultra, from my perspective, or what I know, MK Ultra is. And then they insisted that this is where you are frozen. And you only respond to the factors you are exposed to. No, because if that would be the case, I wouldn't give them this for 50 years. I'm not animal. Animals are here at the police station in Ljubljana and in Belgrade are animals. In Moscow are animals because of whom this stuff happened. They're going to teach this their own people. So it's no. Most of the people may be going to say, yeah, but that's, this is, yeah, okay. That's you. That's not me. Now, the two people are not the same. The difference probably never, definitely never is greater when it comes to people than when they are subject to MK Ultra. They broke people within a few months, the toughest within two years. They couldn't break me for more than 48 years. For 48 years, I was in charge of my case. 
And not like people say, oh, I started my path and this and that. Yeah. Try to do it during MK Ultra and let's see how long is it going to go for. I do not understand. I do not comprehend. It's not about the promises and all that stuff. Because I asked, I wanted to know the prospect. What is in this business? What kind of business is this? Already as a child, I wanted to know from this British Royals. What the fuck is in this for me? What is in it for me? Charles and Andrew were much earlier involved in external foreign affairs than what I anticipated. I got to see it, how old they were at this age, but they learned business. These kids, when they're 14 years old, they already participate in these issues. When they get like 14 years of age, 12 years of age, you, you, these royals and stuff, they already are involved. Listen, 12 year old kids already are involved in external, 11 years of kids, they already are involved in, in royal kids, already involved in um, in meeting foreign presidents, uh, prime ministers, uh, running certain, even certain operations, because it's their parents that make them do this. They train them like this, to do stuff like that. <laughs> they told me this is also you can use for MK Ultra, whatever. It's true. When I say I mean independently. I remember when Philip would get angry with Charles and uh, Andrew that he told them that he would send me on a mission with them and stuff like this. Uh, and I was just like, uh, let's say, um, a pelican, cormoran, whatever, that was picking up the fish from the river basically for this. Kids that would deliver the one home to their parents, basically. This is the way it went. Uh, I did not know about where the fuck do I charter, but I knew that these were extremely wealthy people, and my world was world of hell. Where I was coming from was not really certain what my life the fuck is going to be like, where, where the whole thing is heading to. I didn't know. I the only thing I knew is that I I couldn't afford not to have friends like this. If I have a friends, I better have few. And those that count actually. So in MK Ultra people in MK Ultra don't have many friends. I was asked about why you don't have friends. Why didn't you have friends and this and that? I had, I had few. And those are good friends. And I had other kind of friends that were not really friends, but were extremely powerful people that acted as a friends and took full advantage of it. You understand? No, no, no. The biggest problem that I have is that I, I still don't comprehend this. Every time when I find certain issue, when I go back in time and I recall something, I simply get lost. When I recall certain emotions and talk with these people during MK Ultra, uh, the way I relied on them, basically, I trusted them. And they wanted me to do things, you know, and expressing gratitude and so on to me, to me. It felt like, you know, you have something going on, you know, stuff. But the thing is, I didn't have anything going on. The thing is that the thing is that uh, the grandkids from Philip and Elizabeth, Elizabeth and Philip were young back then. They're not always old people. They started to piss on me in front of their grandparents and stuff, basically. They started to, you know, spear, like Prince Harry stated, it's actually you. He pointed at me during an It's a spear that you will know. I know. No worries about it. It's okay. 
Yeah, much of this stuff, I got rid of it. And I said to myself, you know, I, I feel so good about it. Because I was a slave of the lies. I was a slave of the lies that it's impossible to, 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 it's impossible to describe. But because this shit went for so long, here and there, still I bump in some issue. Like the one I bumped in tonight. And um, I don't regret anymore because the worst thing is when 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 they make you completely defenseless. Basically, you're totally you you're like uh, they embedded so much, so many lies in it, and so much lies in it, and so that you you just uh, very, very, very. Um, At this point in time, just very, very disappointing. And uh, as you, all of you, most of you worked, as some children that did not, that are watching this program, you know, basically, even if you go to the school, you know what to expect for your work, for, you know, not really, I mean, um, but you definitely you go to work, you know, you do good work, you, you get this, you, you do bad work, you, you know, whatever happens to you. You know what MK Ultra is? MK Ultra is when everybody has his own story. In my case, I'm curious is when you, the most honest way, if I would say what MKUltra is, the most honest way if I tell you what MKUltra is, MKUltra is a waste of time, nothing for you to expect from. Lies, basically. Everything is a lie. Everything they say is a lie. This is MK Ultra. This was 52 years. 52 years, this is what it was. There's no sense of talking about what fucking MK Ultra is when there is all kinds of people that try to fuck you and demote you and lie and misinterpret and play you down and do you all kinds of stuff. This is what MK Ultra is. MK Ultra is just. Um, MK Ultra, this is just something that, uh, you know, just read my fucking blog and you will understand what MK Ultra is because it's, it's impossible to describe. If the police officers told me that they're going to ask me what MK Ultra is, uh, not because they would not know what MK Ultra is, but because they want to know if I know what MKL is. That's what they told me. It's going to be the investigation. This is what they told me. And this is what several police officers already have done to me. The thing is that you don't deserve nothing else than to fucking me rip your fucking head off. This is the fucking MKL When you ask questions, somebody like myself, like this. You don't deserve nothing other than somebody fucking smack you in your face. And that's why you really ask what MK Ultra is. And that's what I'm going to explain next time when I come to the police. It's called for violence, that kind of question, you motherfucker. You're asking somebody like myself what MK Ultra is? You don't fucking deserve to be alive, motherfucker. Now you know what MK Ultra is. The regiment consists of 800 men, which offers perhaps the harshest military
let's see this here so that I, I, I don't waste time about this stuff here. This, I had to watch this, Slovenian police officers, uh, their bravery, their courage. Uh, just about when things started to get interesting with the Legion, you know? And once I saw the police officers jumping and doing this from Slovenia and stuff like this, I didn't want to be anywhere anywhere in the Foreign Legion. I didn't want to have nothing to do with it. Okay, let me see something here about the, the history about the Foreign Legion. Let me see this. No, I just want to see this stuff here, the modern stuff. A Congo, no, Algerian. Libya, no. Uh, Lebanon, no. This is operations, right? Okay, it doesn't matter right now. Fuck this. It doesn't matter right now, that stuff. Let me just see this here. Today, I will ask for apology for um, the French Foreign Legion. French Foreign Legion uh, changed approach toward me very, very much. <clears throat> this is what minute is this? 10 minutes. Okay. They drilled me about which one popped up first and uh, so on and so forth, you know, uh, that I should remember this and that, but uh, this, uh, this one, this, this, you see it? Look at it. This is a 15 minute, 18 second. This was me. You see this here? You see this little boy right there? <laughs> I didn't think about that stuff. Uh, I didn't think about that stuff that somebody would not fucking say that that's me. That's not fucking me. See that boy? That's a big boy, man. I was big, but I was not that big at age six. There were two guys from the area that I had to work with that British have sent me designated me to work they would distribute me to these two guys and i had to work with and um these two guys one of them was a legionnaire the other one was the legionnaire to become they were already recruiting the people from the area and uh, the french foreign legion already have established itself there before they came there there were already people they were using to establish the base, they already know exactly where the base was. The Slovenian police and all these people only know certain things about this stuff, only up to a certain degree. But I was there before the French Foreign Legion was there, officially. <laughs> Uh, French Foreign Legion arrived probably about six months earlier than what the official date may be, something in that sense, maybe. About six months earlier. Mm. French Foreign Legion, I estimate, arrived about from one year to six months earlier than what officially they're listed in Djibouti. The French Foreign Legion was in the area. They scouted the area, they do the exercise, they were preparing themselves for the terrain, they had different teams, and boom, this is the way it was done. So, who said that I was not there? That boy that you see right there, that's a tall boy. Uh, it's a scam. Now I'm talking to the French Foreign Legion. 
It's a scam. Don't fucking put me in the light like this. I told already about this. Xi Jinping. Don't even think about 60 years of age. Don't fuck with me. Don't do that stuff to me. When I was six years of age, I had to stand up like a punishment. As a form of punishment, they would bring me right there. And I would have to stand up over there. That means the French Foreign Legion is already were there. They were just probably native blacks. And it was not from Djibouti, but it was from the area of Djibouti. One was from quite close, I remember, and the other one was from further. The French Foreign Legion was already in the area, based on my information right now, and that's the French government will confirm to you as official, as a document classified and un un unveiled completely, two years before the invasion. Stuff I have stated to you went on. You don't see the legioners because they wear civil clothing and they travel them back and forth and they exercise and do the stuff, act like a civilian people. They send them on different all kinds of tasks. But these are people that are mentally and well prepared and exercise and they scout area and they go over and they prepare. These are these are highly qualified. Uh, military people that scout the area, prepare the area, they know their area like a back pocket. So when they hit, they know exactly what cards to play, where, what to expect. So what do you say here? This was what now? 15 minutes, 18 seconds. Okay, let's see this here. 15 minutes, 18 seconds. This, this is in, in France. This is a luxus when compared to this place. But I, the worst thing is I did not fucking know. I, I came here and my first experience was it was the man that was standing over there. And I did not know what the fuck is this guy was there. Nah, look, fucking cross over there. Nah, even this. Uh, so the French legioner expected me to come. They knew that uh, I would do this. So this is a halfway on a confession. I told them one day I'm going to come back and just kill them all as a child. I promised them that the stuff they were doing to me, that I will return back. And, and when I'm going to return back, it's over with them as a child. <laughs> then nobody took me seriously and I was so fucked. Then I had to stand up as a child. They had me do all kinds of stupid stuff they wanted me to do. First of all, I had to stand up next to some guy that was really, really stupid. As a child, I didn't know what the fuck this guy is doing. Standing over there and standing and fucking standing and somebody brought me over there and that's it. And I said, what? Here. And I didn't understand what they wanted from me. And uh, it, it started to get heavy. Five minutes, what the fuck? I mean, ten minutes, now what? I uh, said, so what? You're going to have to be like this half an hour. And I was like, are you fucking crazy or something like that? Oh, you're going to fucking remember me. You're going to remember me. You will see. You will fucking remember me. I said, what the fuck? Hey, you're crazy. I said, uh, I told him, take me away from here. No, no, uh, you must go back. Be nice. And I don't know. I said, what the fuck? Why would I be nice to this guy? Hey, I'm not crazy. I'm fucking staying here. Uh, come on, hey. And little by little, they started to brain kill me. It was a torture. It really was a torture. Uh, one hour, two fucking hour, I just standing over there like a stupid. Uh, every time I was punished for not being nice to the guy. And I didn't want to come here no more. And so this kind of stuff here, this, this stuff, 
that I demonstrated you earlier, this this started to get this started to get on, basically this started to get on my nerve. It's just I didn't fucking know what who or how I mean and this and that. Um, they got paid basically to causing me harm. Literally, they demonstrated others that were involved in MK Ultra how they can profit through the example of the foreign, French Foreign Legion. Because these are the people that, talking about Charles, they negotiated with contracts and stuff, and was suggested to even keep them like a lifeline, keep them alive and so on. Uh, this shit here, this was the first one here, this stuff here. This year, 1978. Way before any French Foreign Legion, four years earlier, this was a punishment location. It could actually be, listen to me very good, it could be that I was even here in 1970, 1976 already. Even this is possible. Even this shit is possible. It was Josip Broz Tito. I had a feeling like it was Josip Rosita that punished me more, that's, that he's, he started to look to punish me, to do the stuff to me. This is very, very bad stuff. Uh, five, six years of age, uh, five, six years of age, oh, six years of age, 1977. This is already, I entered the school. So, you know, I did not know what the fuck went on. With this stuff here. This was just a regular guy. This was not. He was dressed like a regular guy. It was not legionnaire or something like that. Once uh, the legionnaires started to. Uh, it, it, it started to get really sick man. This this was like. This they, they completely fucking dry me out. This, the thing is that I did not know what the fuck went on. And uh, it became to me apparent that the British royals, they, uh, they simply, uh, how the fuck can I say? It, it was like, they were asking, like, you know, like, if you have enough of it, you know? It's like, it's like, uh, it's like something unpleasant that you have to do. And uh, it was like I don't know, like you you're you were a kid and you and you were told like you know we're gonna do something and uh, everybody acknowledges it is, is unpleasant, but it's something that needs to be done. And you are told basically to do something, and you do, you do, you do when you know. A good parent or somebody would come to you and uh, would say, did you have enough already? Yes? Okay, go to the cinema or whatever. Except that there was no fucking cinema. There was no fucking reward for it. But it's that feeling, that sickening shit that they started to instill in you. Like you belong to them, like you're fucking, uh, you know next to or with somebody that actually cares about you. This is why I'm so angry about it. That's what makes me so fucking angry about it. Nobody cared about me. Nobody gave a three fuck about me. There was nobody that cared about me. I escaped death. I cheated death on who knows how many fucking occasions during MK Ultra. I Guarantee you nobody give a fuck about me. I came close to death during MK Ultra, probably on a hundred occasions. And I probably came like very close. Like in a moment people could snap and this is just not some clowns or something like that. But probably bad people there were when they had me on these missions that I could never come back easily.
this this sucks actually totally totally sucks totally nothing to do with me so do you understand the beginnings of Djibouti from today even if you're a legioner you will know history real history about the Djibouti this is the history of the Djibouti let me see something else this kid here uh uh no that's what angers me don't do that to me don't don't try that stuff this guys that you see right there this guys they all were involved in my case mk ultra every one of them so today they also know a little bit about the history of Djibouti. Well, see the guy? The original guy. Uh, there were not only two guys, there were a few guys in uh, this base this where the base is close to whatever city i didn't go through that stuff yet i will um and uh there were guys like this and um these are the people that helped this camp and uh, legion operations to to exist little by little they created a contact with the people from the area but the original guy uh, he, he was it was not like this he did not look black um he was of different uh, ethnicity uh, let me see something he looked more like light uh, let me see that now I'm talking about this initial initial people legioners I'm talking about the legioners that were there before the legion right so there you have that's Eritrea to me to me personally the guy looked like he was from Yemen actually from the Yemen area that was one he looked like facially he looked like this yeah many people uh he looked like uh, like yeah like this like this you know not like this guy but the racial ethnic uh, complexion matched more of this here this was his background he was not black and he was not white he was more like something like you see right there Irana. he did not look like that he looked like let me demonstrate you he looked like yeah he was probably about like 35 maybe not really i'm gonna go 40. and he had very very short hair so i assume this was a legioner he, uh, just a regular guy you know he just had uh he just had um um how can i say shorts nothing special and uh, he had like a round face he had more like this guy which also could uh, somewhere i was actually scanning here for his facial profile for, to get an idea and uh, it almost kind of takes me toward egypt i was thinking about like egypt you know uh even south egypt i would say you know
I learn to profile people uh, early age because it was a matter of survival. I didn't want to do this. I really didn't want to do it. Uh, but uh, in this landscape of MK Ultra, uh, I couldn't believe my luck. And when I say that I could not believe my luck, I mean in a negative sense. I was not happy about this at all. Because what the fuck? I mean, this map of issues was just get growing and growing and growing and getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And just as I thought that I'm okay, that I'm in my part of the world, I find myself in another part of the world with, again, completely different people. Scared, quite, in a way, because I didn't fucking know what, you know, um, what exactly to expect. Now, here we are a little bit closer to this. We're a little bit closer with the racial complexion of a very not, still I cannot find person like this, which kind of suggests me this here is perfect. This is perfect. I got him. Here. This is it. Perfect. This was a Legionnaire's. He's talking about the Legionnaire. He's talking about the Legionnaire. He also had some hair problems. And that's a classic Legionnaire. Because of the helmet, because of that kind of shit. The hair goes out a little earlier. It's a sweat. This was his complexion. This was like the original, one of the original guys that scouted the area. And then there was the other guy that was a black guy. That was, uh, I would say, um, you know, there was completely black guy. That was black guy. Now, that guy... I remember this guy would come around a lot. A guy like this, um, that guy was a, from a, I am not sure, I'm really not sure, to be honest, I'm not sure which one was from the near and which one was from further, they were from Africa, I know the Yemen is North Africa, but um, probably that I'm very, very correct about one that I stated, that he must have been here from somewhere, like something like this, who knows the fuck, I don't know where, the, you know, if I would travel and see people, meet people, and so this would be good, because you would get, you would make your own map in your head, but I, you know, I didn't have that kind of pleasure to just uh, do that kind of stuff, right? So I assume probably that the black guy was probably somewhere closer here from the area. And uh, the other one that was, it was from somewhere else further up north here. Or maybe even, uh, I don't know if it was Saudi Arabia or something like that. I doubt it. I think yeah, that must have been something here. Maybe even Sudan or something like that, North Sudan or something, you know? This is the way we're going to do this. Um, and then these people from the village became, uh, they became extremely friendly. They, they, were, they were already good friends all along. Uh, you, could, you could see that this is, this is like that people... People, it wasn't about the village, but the people overall, that it wasn't uh, so difficult to for them to establish this contact, whatever they were doing. It was like operation between these uh, uh, ethnicities that coordinated uh, cooperation with these secret people that uh, government literally did not know what the fuck went on. They were so good that they they just uh, well I mean Russians uh, literally learned about these operations. Peter learned about they started to learn. That's why it was so interesting for them this kind of stuff. And uh, Tita got the best out of it. 
I already described why. Um, I didn't finish about this exercise, so I give a little bit of background here about the Djibouti. Let me see something else here. Yeah, this was a long time ago. This was a long time ago. So you're probably asking yourself, how the fuck do you go so much back in time when it would be difficult to uh, for a normal person that would not be subject to MK Ultra, right? Uh, to establish the time, the date, the, the place, and so on. Well, the thing about it is that there is many, many factors. Uh, the people that are subjected to the MK Ultra, they just uh, create their own map. If they, if you, I don't know, people, I haven't fucking heard anything like this yet. Uh, there is one more that I need to There's one more that I need to... Um... Uh, the guy here, it says here... Uh... I, I, I was 99, you know. Glory, glory, man, United! Glory, glory, man, United! Glory, glory, man, United! And the Reds go marching! On, on, on! Anyway, I don't want to depress you, so whenever you feel down and... Oh. Anyway, I don't want to depress you, so whenever you feel down and you think life's pointless going on, just remember I've got a ginger head and can't get a fuck and it's all your fault, but don't worry, I'm a strong lad, I can take it. Uh, bon. Là c'était la chambre à Foster, et là c'était Sally, c'était son corps. This first weekend to get back, I'm going to get pissed out me head. First class legionnaire Foster decided to leave the legion after three years of service. Yeah, he, he left the legion after three years of service because of me. Um, I was the one who created the problems, uh, even racial and ethnic tensions inside of it. And, um, well... This is what these people needed. I had no idea that the whole operation against me was literally financed by my family, basically. Is how I saw it. It's from London. I had no fucking idea what they, they are preparing for me. Uh, so... The more the stuff like this the better the result would come out. Now go see the movie when the stuff, that kind of stuff it was. So what they do is the main thing, the polygon, the, the same thing like the French foreign legions do, or any kind of military, the terrain, they prepare themselves on the terrain. They make sure that the MK Ultra victim is completely dead. It doesn't have any kind of chance to pull himself out of the shit. So what they do is they use you, 
and they continue to cover you with the shit. They continue to dunk you and drown you in the shit. This is the rule number one Charles is going to tell you. Charles is the number one instructor of MKUltra. He knows all these things. It is an old family, probably the, the longest that play with MKUltra. They are not professionals. They are just like top, top, top corporals. <laughs> they are like the best of the best. You want to learn business about MK3, go to them and they will teach you about it. The rule number one is whoever you want to use, you have to make sure it will not survive. That's your terrain. That's how you prepare the terrain. I learned the rules. I know the rules. I know what that means through their eyes. I know how that stuff is. So good luck back. He's from England. England, I think. Nice guy, otherwise. This is very difficult. Uh, the tensions can be all kinds of stuff. It could be difficult, and you can even get killed in the French Foreign Legion. If they start to see you different or anything like this, you can easily get killed, hurt. Yeah, this here, this is a, this is a house uh, because I see the where it's sitting. So I know where the house is based on the landscape that I see behind. This is when we will be coming to this home already since 1988. Let me see something else. Who knows how long he had been around. He had been around for a very, very long time. Let me just think about something. The sun. Uh, I know there were like two sisters or something like that, three sisters and Maybe two brothers or something like that. Well, quite a large family it was, something like that. Maybe even larger family than that. I am trying to picture who was older. Whether I was older or he was older. This is basically what I'm trying to picture right now. Um, I'm trying to picture now... Because uh, when he pop up on the picture, there was a kind of people. Some were older, some were, of course, younger. And so I am trying to picture him. The problem is that this. Kids grew up also, and so on, of course. And now you have to find yourself in that stuff. You have to picture the person. You have to picture as much as you can his age. This is... Uh, even the uh, older son. This is the older son. For one thing, I will tell you his older son. This is the older son. And it might actually not even be like this. I, I would say that uh, maximum that he has maybe is one brother and two, three sisters, maybe something like that. No, I could be completely wrong. One... Maybe even two sisters, one brother, if he has a brother. I would say one brother, two sisters. What the fuck am I saying right now? 
maybe he is alone with the two sisters. The thing about it is, this guy was from like a family that has less children, and uh, he appealed to me because of that. Because the more children that was inside, yeah, this already is a child that profiled like this. Yes, it's a matter of survival. Do you know how? If the family had many, many children, then that means a lot, a lot of problem for you. Survival. Because the more were the children, the more the environment was alive, and it turned out to be violent. Violence always was in the crowd. And I did not like this. For that matter, I was trying to stay away from it because it was too many smart little children, uh, or teenagers, I would say, and teenagers bursted with the violence. This is not really that there's always one person and when that person starts to do stuff it's always takes for shit basically this here this boy here i am now going over and uh i now see him i now see him First, I have to establish when I saw him first how old I was, you know, and then I, based on that, I establish how old he is, what exactly the the the, the thing is with this, you know. Oh, you know, fourteen. Yeah, first time I probably saw this guy when I was probably twelve years old, you know. But the police uh, registered. Uh, so that means. Uh, 1986, 1988, uh, you already know, 1989, boom, and so, you know, um, 1989, you know, he got married probably about like in 19, I'm thinking about, uh, This was this guy was known like a pretty boy. This was like a pretty boy, and this is you know this is his thing. You know he wanted to he reserved for himself, and he was very very listening to me a lot, and uh, he understood that if you want a good life, then that you cannot just go and make children, but you have to do certain stuff to establish yourself financially and so on. And so this this was actually nice, calm guy, this guy. It was quite people it was a lot of violence, a lot of violence. But and so here yeah, I'm thinking. I think he was younger than myself. I think he was younger because I think so because uh, you know I think he is about four years younger than myself. I would say you know actually not really yeah nineteen nineteen eighty six. Six fourteen, no, yeah, no. very impossible to determine the age. Very, very tough one. Very, very tough one. Uh, this is gonna be. Yeah, I would, I would say that. Um, He is, you know how much younger he is? He's younger than myself. I hope. Because he said he's going to go and study just like I do. 
uh, just like I have back then. And so, fuck it, this is impossible to tell. Eh? Yeah, oh, it's very, very difficult to tell this. It's very, very, very difficult to tell. Very, very difficult to tell. This is 1986, 19, 1986, 1985, and uh, they were sure I'm never going to make it anywhere. Uh, this was extremely violent place. This was so, this place was, this place bursted from violence. This place is one of the worst places. The Slovenian police was here already before, like I stated. Um, officially, officially, for, as for Slovenian police, I know that, uh, as for the Slovenian, Slovenian police appeared here for the first time, that the uh, Udba people, Yugoslav, that kind of stuff was already before, so it doesn't make any fucking sense. They watched this stuff. Uh, they were not coming here with the Slovenian police, though. They were coming here once the uh, French Foreign Legion arrived. That means about six months after they established themselves, I don't know, in 1982 is the first time when the Slovenian police, Udba people, from Yugoslavia people, that would arrive, about six months after they would arrive here. And I hated nothing more than their presence. I hated nothing more than their presence. So it was literally French Foreign Legion that ensured that they could come, which made me fucking angry. This, this was not a good thing. This was very, very bad stuff. French Foreign Legion did a lot of bad stuff to me. Or I should say uh, decisions, political decisions, the decision makers. And I'm still trying to picture this guy. Uh, this guy is older than myself. This guy... It was a time when, when he alone, he was sure that I'm not going to make it. But he is not much older than myself. He is about, like, I would say... Um, I am about the same age like I am. It's got to be about the same age like, like when I was like... When I was like... When I was like 14 years old, hey, this is very difficult to tell. This is where the fucking problem is. This is a problem. Uh, when I was 14 years old, probably this guy was um, about maybe two years older than myself, three years older than myself, two years older than myself, I would say. Something like this, because I know so, because... Uh, they were sure I'm not going to make it, and then I became a mechanic. And uh, the, it was a big contrast to the grammar school where there was so much violence. Not the violence would cease in the high school, but uh, high school, uh, you know, it was less violence. Just put this this way. I didn't even have to study when I went for the mechanic. I didn't have to bother anymore studying anything. Um... It was just, uh, we we're talking about, it was very, very easy for me, the high school. Um, we we're talking about 1987, something like that, when he said that he's going to also do that. When he saw that I'm doing well in the school, 1988, that he started to see himself in me. I, I say he's about two years older than myself. Something like that. Because he didn't want to have nothing to do with me. Then he find his way back to me. So that's where I would go. Then he decided he's going to also go and study. So, you know, this is the guy. Uh, and so, uh, in 1988, I became a mechanic, whatever. And he was dreaming about how he's going to go study. Or that he will also, that he also want some kind of school or something, whatever. Um... 
Um, we have ups and downs, you know. He was obviously paid to downplay me. So the French Foreign Legion is not doing nothing good to, 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 to the King Charles. I mean, what he can do is he can he can take the finger and you know under his nose and wipe his nose with it. It's not gonna help him out. I mean like you say in Slovenian language, it's not going to be anything. This here, this, the French region is going to have to apologize to me for. This here. This here is not good. This here, this is total shit. This stuff here. About this kind of stuff that went on. This crap. This is totally, totally crap. But this goes into the fascism, this kind of stuff. These issues here. And uh, I'm not French. I didn't come to Africa to colonize. France colonized already way, way, way before I was in this world. Nobody from Slovenia colonized anybody in the world. Nobody from this area went on to colonize anybody. We know which colonial superpowers were out there. That was England. That was France, and these are the two next to the Spain, and even Portugal, two main colonial superpowers. And then you also have Italy, and you have in a part the Germany, and Belgium did a tremendously bad thing in Congo. So, you know, <laughs> I don't know why the French Foreign Legion couldn't get somebody like Milan Kuchan or Bort Pahor or, you know, one of these politicians for the job. I mean, why why was it that I was used? Well, the answer goes because you have to prepare the terrain. You have to prepare yourself for the terrain. As I explained, uh, the MK Ultra victim is just somebody that must not have any kind of future. And sure, you're not going to have any fucking past. I, I, I get it. I understand all that stuff. I completely understand that stuff. This kind of stuff is uh, like this because these are all the witnesses for me. I met thousand legioners and they were all, every one of them was a witness. This is how they describe you. One legioner supposedly have written the book about me. Now, the thing is, I have not seen this legioner anywhere in real life, met him anywhere. I didn't meet any of the legioners anywhere in the real life. But if this man would give a sign, I would meet absolutely every one of them. It wouldn't be a problem. That's a French foreign legion. This is what this is. This is the relationship and so on. The French Foreign Legion is extremely important instrument, military instrument for the Europe. And I would appeal to European governments to fund French Foreign Legion for the European security's sake. Because it's one of the most dedicated, professional military formations the European Union has that would, I don't know, they truly do make difference when it comes to European security. It should not be the question for the French Foreign Legion when it comes to the French Foreign Legion that would depend on decisions of Americans or British whether we should or not uh, depend on the foreign money to maintain European security. The French Foreign Legion is the most appropriate, the most trained, the most professional military formation Probably in the world, I'm certain it is, especially because it's got such a great diversity, variety of people from all around the globe. It's why it is the most, maybe the most important military instrument inside of the European Union. This is basically the way I see it. And there are great people inside of the French region. I don't think any soldiers that were in it, they were bad people. They were crazy people. There were all kinds of people. But under given circumstances, this year actually is quite a, in a certain way, this man, 
he just this was his exit basically this is how he had to exit the so he had some future in england i mean he had to ensure himself future in england i since he participated in this thing know for a fact that this is the way it works and so no i don't take anything hard against anybody because this is life this is what life is people take opportunities they they work through and the people get paid awarded for their work if he wouldn't do this uh they talk about here something about mental st status and stuff like this come on man he just wouldn't do it i mean you know he is this guy here um giving him like uh basically farewell he's giving him you know like bon voyage basically in his own way you know because this guy here what he is doing you know what this guy is doing here this guy is just giving a testimony for the uh, charles i'm gonna show you this guy the guy that is stressing over that the issues uh, all kinds of whatever mental and uh and so on and so forth he is just giving charles basically a boost that's all there is it's all combination they all work this is nothing like let's see something else i don't want to waste time on that stuff so we're going to say that i identify this guy this this individual here the pretty boy he has maybe two sisters and he's by himself this is he exactly he didn't have a large family this is the one from the smaller family as to when compared to others they had a lot of children big families his father was involved in mk ultra uh and so that's why i'm also thinking about something else i mean because his father was involved in mk ultra since i was a child as i was coming there his father was involved in this stuff very very long time you know, his father oh my god man I'm trying to figure out what his father was doing. Well, I can picture some bigger city. I can picture some bigger city and I picture his father and his wife. We would travel to the city, and this shit started when I was like three years old. Is this city that is about? This is a living fucking hell, man. Um, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. He went to the city to sell or whatever he was doing. Uh, but it was quite a distance to the city. So the more the fuck I'm going to start to think about this stuff, I'm going to know soon where his wife is originally from and stuff like that. Um, this was a very hard working guy, this guy, the father. He was, uh, yeah, he did have a field. He had like a farm. Um, and uh, I don't know, corn, whatever, what they were doing there. I think about uh, I think about his mom, wife.
he had like a small field, you know, like a small field, like a small, uh, like when I say small, you know, he had about like, I don't know, like maybe, what the fuck was he growing there? All kinds of stuff, man. Potato and that kind of stuff and everything a little bit. He, he, you know, I estimate he had, I don't know. How about, I don't know. Maybe 30 meters by maybe 20 meters, something like this, I feel like. Or 30 meters by 30 meters, maybe something like that. And that's probably too big. Half, make it even half of that, of the land where he would also grow something like this. I'm thinking about if his wife, actually, mom, therefore, was from the city that was about two hours away if you traveled. That's what I'm thinking about. Or was she from the village? The problem is that this is not the only people that are involved in this stuff, so saying stuff like this is, uh, can be conflicting. This, I am not going to go into this. That's too far for me, this stuff, the, what I stated. Uh, this, was, this, is, this is a petty boy that uh, had a uh, smaller family. You're talking about maybe two sisters that I would know, something like this. I don't think he had a brother. I'm not sure. And uh, if this is the right guy, when he comes to family, yeah, this must be the right guy. He inherited this uh, father from the house, uh, from father the house, farm, and everything. So, uh, it must be it. It's got to be it. It's got to be it. I am thinking about... Uh, yeah, this is about the same age like I am, actually. Something like that. This is about the same age like I am. Oh, this was this was longer involving it. All right, enough of it. I am going to think about this stuff. Oh yeah. This was involved longer than 12 years. This was this boy was involved uh, in this stuff. Uh, much longer, probably since age eight. Yeah. So he will definitely, 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 definitely know more than even village people. Because it was this family in particular that these legioners would go and, you know, now maybe I even said a little bit too much. They was not the whole village they would go to. They would always go to selected people where they would obviously stay over. It was not everybody. It was not everybody. There was also people that didn't like that. They knew where to go to. And even where to go and so on. This was a very systematic operation. They provocated the the systemology of, of operation itself is such that they test different villages, they test through different people, through different issues, they make sparks, and then they see the area that is the most open to them. That's when the, the operations start to go. They scout area for many, many, many years before they start operation like I described today here. Let me finish this video. This here? Yeah, okay. Parti! Ma guarda, c'è per due fatti il dia!
Go. Oh, 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 oh. No. Let me see if I can get this here. This is the one. No, also not. Let's see this here. Yeah, they'll put my criminal record to one side and look at what I've done in the Legion. May I knew that I was in the French Foreign Legion. Bec no, I did not fucking know. I just know that when I was brought here to this place, and this, this is when I was... These people were here since 1982, right? Yes. In 1982, because there was some guys that I actually could not beat up them. And I got really, 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 really angry that there were guys that uh, simply... Uh, how the fuck can I express myself properly? I was 10 years old. And uh, and uh, these guys were just strong. They wanted me to fight with them. And uh, uh, I usually would go with the ease and just throw people around. But uh, these guys, uh, there was actually even the school kids from the grammar school novel master with me. There was a kid that was two years older that traveled with me when the French Foreign Legion established itself here. So I got some even, I'm not going to say schoolmates, but he was two years uh, senior to me. So I remember the day that that I, I was completely uh, shaken because they presented me these guys and uh, uh, I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't physically... I couldn't physically batter them. They just, uh, they were, uh, they, they just, uh, I was completely shaken because, um, well, I did not know that uh, these are older people like this. That's one thing. And the second thing is, uh, uh, I would put sometimes older people, much older grown up people down. Uh, quite frequently, actually, if I would not know, I, I had no idea who is old, who is young. But the thing is that um, I get extremely, extremely upset. And uh, this guy that was in charge, he was laughing and was looking at me like a joke. And uh, it actually made me even more angry because he was not taking me seriously. And he was ridiculing me, and I was looking at him like insane, actually. Like, basically, in a way, like, how the fuck do you dare to, uh, to, 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 I mean, like this. And, and he was just not taking me seriously. He was just like, let's go, let's go here, let's go there. And I was like, in my head, was just like, well, what, 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 what just happened? I was just thinking about barely waiting how I'm going to come back and retaliate, basically. And so um, the thing is that um, I'm thinking if I did get somebody on the floor or something like that, I did not because they didn't give me a chance, to be honest. And uh, this uh, who was in charge for it, he... Uh, he said that he's going to say something, whatever that I managed. Fuck that. No, I didn't like this place. I didn't like, I hated this place because of what I stated. Because they were not taking me seriously. So I was, from the moment that that happened, I didn't want to be anymore here. I didn't want to come here anymore because they were not here. They were not honest. They did not play by the rules. So I didn't want to come here no more. This is the truth. This is the way it was. All right, let me see that. So is he going to do this jump or what now? I am actually in this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one. This is the one. Okay, so this was the, uh, a problem. 
Allez, suivant. Je t'écoute. Je t'écoute. Je t'écoute. Je t'écoute. prêt. Départ. C'est parti. Parti. Ben ouais, ça fait deux fois que tu le dis là. Go. En haut, en haut, en haut. Vise. Voilà, allez. Um, this kind of stuff here that you see, this stuff that you see here. Lâche, lâche. One thing I'm going to say to you. Uh, do you see this here again? This. We had in the school at this Sona Shola and Durham like this, just not like this, but uh, like this. We had like this, you know, like this, we had like this. It, it was something like this in the gym, I think. And so what we would do is we would do climbing. And this was just a pole, you know? And you would go and you would climb. Sometimes you would grab yourself for both of this and you would climb like this, just with the hands, you know? On other occasions, you would, of course, with the legs, it would be very, very easy to go up there. Um, this is where I was a champion, basically, at this shit. I was what was not really basically this cancer in issue in my left arm area is the thing impossible because I was nobody could go and do this kind of stuff like this like a, jump like a monkey basically do the stuff like I did um not to mention that if I went up one, and so you're you're talking about the profile like something like this metal, about something like this, you know, about this size that you would grab yourself and then you would just climb up. Um, so this exercise here they were doing, uh, this kind of stuff did not scare me. For me, this was like nothing, basically. This was for me like, I didn't even consider this to be exercise. During MK Ultra, I mean, you didn't have to say much. It's, you didn't have to say to me, jump. I, I was the one that didn't want to be even tied on the cable. So I'm thinking about the year when this one came to play on the game. Uh, it did came, of course, on the game before the Slovenian police got there. Uh, talking about these younger police officers. Not older police officers. So that's kind of a difficult to... to estimate all this stuff. Uh, they were fucking worried about this stuff. About this kind of issues that went on. Uh... The Slovenian police was going on my penis because when they saw this stuff, it was alarm, it was a crap. Uh, I was, no, do not do this, do not do that. I was already considered as mentally insane. Uh, basically, it was like, Anything that I wanted to attempt it, they consider me as insane. So the fuck uh, yesterday I was capable to do this with these people here. Now you have a police officers and they know everything more about me. I don't even know why the fuck you need me there for. This was my attitude. Why the fuck you bring me here if I cannot do anything anymore that I used to do with these legionaries? All of a sudden there are different rules. This police officer was fucking nasty. Ugly people to be around and also ultra violent. 
So I had no reason to come here anymore whatsoever. So now we're going to go and we're going to do something else. We're going to go and we're going to fix the years for the stuff I have done, whatever went on. They worried about my safety? Fuck no. They worried about making me look like a shit on every step of the way, whenever they put knife in the back. This is what it was. Nobody worried about anybody. This here, long before the region came, this here, the legioner to whom the village people would bring me also, I already described one to you. It was not black, it was not, this was the original man. He would travel the area literally. Uh, quite mysterious man who had direct contact also with the British royals. For the operations, he would literally communicate also with the British royals. That's how big missions this were. What is this here? What is this shit here? This this is some kind of a guard post. This is where you you, you stand up like a stupid. And the worst part was when they started to fuck with uh to make things even more difficult. He said it's gonna make things even more difficult. This is what angered me. This is why I'm doing this video. And you know what they did? They took the fucking buckets and they put in the buckets the fucking water and stuff like this. And they make me hold straight and this, that kind of a stretch me back and forth. Uh, it, it's called, it's a, it's a punishment. And I did not know who the fuck is this guy to punish me. And I wanted to know who the fuck are you to, to do the stuff like this that I'm going to listen to you. I said, do you think I'm going to listen to you? And uh, he didn't answer to me anything. <laughs> this is the funny thing. They would not answer to me anything. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to know who the hell is this guy. I mean, the, who actually, who, who he think he is. I mean, this guy that he's going to tell me to stand up over there and, and hold the bucket. You know, but he wouldn't answer any question. Or I ask, who the fuck is this guy? So I, I comply with it. And when I tried to find out who the fucking guy was, yeah, I wouldn't get any kind of answers. I wouldn't get anything. It wouldn't give you anything, any kind of answers, anything. So this year, you know, this this was obviously this this was the first post. I have to worry about this one at all. This kind of rings and this and that. Uh, this was a mistake. I stated uh, this here. I am gonna cross. This was so fucking annoying. Uh, this was the first post here. Next to that one, this was the first post. So probably 1982, this here. Um, six months earlier, right? 1981. Uh, 1981 and half. A legion is going to tell you they were there six months. They're going to say to you they were six months earlier to this place. Um, so, then what do we have? We have, uh, we have this kind of stuff, this here, this climbing and this kind of stuff. Uh, the climbing, the climbing, the climbing was... Uh, Based on my memory, we're going to put this one here. This is going to be 1984. The climbing is going to be 1984. I'm thinking about what kind of climbing it was, whether they had a pulse or what the fuck they had. Um, did they have this stuff? Uh, or they had ropes. The stuff that you see there, this is all accordingly designed. He arrived from the France and stuff like that. 
from what they have in other French polygons, military, and I would go with this thing here, and I will select, I will even say 1983. So I am going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. And uh, you have this one here, the this here. I will give you for the climbing and stuff like this. Uh, this kind of uh, climbing. It was a time that it was uh, something that was much more dangerous, something like this. So I will upgrade. It was a time that was more risky to do this stuff. They have added some kind of security features and stuff like that. It was all kinds of stuff that went on. Uh, that I was doing also, that kind of stuff that make me do. Uh, this will go to the 1983. But it was different and not as sophisticated. You know what the fuck I mean? You're going to see the people in French Foreign Legion if they're going to confirm or not. And it was upgraded in 1984. Maybe even 1984 or 1985. 19, it was upgraded in 1985. It was some kind of luxurious feature they added this year. If I was not there, maybe I would not know any of that stuff. Uh, let's go here. Climbing, actually throwing yourself down the pole. This one here, I'm going to give you, this is where I have the problem. And I'm going to say to you, I give you this one here, 1986. Actually, 1986 not, because it was some police officers. So exact year when this year popped up was year 1985. Go ahead, ask legioners, and you're going to see what the fuck I do. Okay, and now I'm going to say au revoir. I'm going to say bye-bye. This is the way this is done. Go see your fucking booklets over there when you did this stuff. And to the legioners, I'm going to say whatever you want to. Arrivederci. Bye bye. Nasvidanie. Au revoir. Hasta la vista, baby, whatever it is that you wanted. Sweet dreams. This year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh.